Hi, welcome back to Daytime. Well, you know, growing up in our country, we all have passions that we want to pursue. And uh, we have the opportunity to get an education and to pursue that dream. Well, it's all around the world that way. But unfortunately, the big challenge that people have in other countries is they have their passion and they want to bring it to our country and they have their own challenges here and mainly it's about communication like anything else. Well the good folks at Toastmasters have a great program, eight week long program called Speechcraft that they are doing with the Working Center in Kitchener and I'm here with Georgina Green who's the president of the Black Walnut Toastmasters as well as Gazala Falzia. Yes. Thank you. Uh, from the Working Center, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. It is about communication, isn't it? Isn't this what this show is all about? This show is all about, <laughs> some days are better than others. <laughs> I'll admit it, but it is. Sure. Well, the Toastmasters' goal is, I believe, effective communication, making that a worldwide reality. And I think what we're doing in Speechcraft is we're putting that into practice right here in the, our community, sort of one-on-one. -on -one. Right. Well, I, personally, I am a big fan of Toastmasters. I, I went through the program when I was in Winnipeg. Very different. A, a lot of people approach Toastmasters as a way to overcome shyness and the shyness of public speaking. But for me, I'll be honest, it's never been an issue. I can see that that would but, not be. But as a business person, I just love the idea of being able to talk to people on a, daily, on an, a weekly basis. For sure. Because I could, I could hone my craft, and I, the, you never know when you're going to get pulled into a business meeting, and you're going to have to talk to somebody or get asked to speak at a conference. And so for me, it was a great vehicle to practice those skills. You're right. What it does is it eliminates, as you say, the fear but then it bolsters your self-confidence. Exactly. And that's exactly what you need, is that self-confidence, self-esteem that says, sure, I can do this. I may need a little help, and that's where Toastmasters and Speechcraft can come in. But we're going with that nugget of self-confidence, and we're building that. Right. Now, how did you come to work with the Working Center? I think this is a great idea. I love that agency. I, uh, I volunteer at the St. John Kitchen that they run. And I just thought, if Speechcraft is a, a, a method to encourage communication, effective communication, the people that are served by the good people at the Working Center, perhaps they'd be interested in what we have to offer. So I made a quick call to the Mancinis there, and it didn't take very long for it to become reality. Mm -hmm. and, and it's very important for them. Um, Gazala, I was reading here, you've been here for two and a half years in Canada. Yes. How did you find the Speechcraft course? Actually, I'm working at the Working Center, mm -hmm. and uh, I received an uh, email from one of my colleagues. And uh, I heard before about uh, Speechcraft Toastmaster, but I didn't know what it exactly is. So when I uh, received this email, so I signed up for that. And uh, for uh, the reason that I was taking, I was planning to take TOEFL. It's a test of uh, English lang language and uh, the um, students who want to pursue their studies in universities, they have to take this uh, test uh, for the admission That's right. eligibility. Right. So that was a good opportunity for me to register for that because I can practice speaking over there and uh, same I have to do in my TOEFL test. Right. So that's why I... Uh, uh, signed up for that. Yeah, and like anything else, it, uh, better communications. I think it does open more doors for people. I was reading here. You you, have, you actually have a master's degree in political science. Yes, I do. Congratulations. Thank you. And and so I'm guessing that your dream would be to apply that over. Yeah, the actually, I, my dream is I am uh, planning to take a master degree in social work. Right. So that is my ultimate goal, and uh, so that's why I need a TOEFL test for it. So in, in uh, Speechcraft Toastmaster, I get this uh, good that, th that opportunity to practice my speaking over there. Right. And uh, also it was a good opportunity to, to uh, increase uh, self-confidence. Yeah. So, and the best thing I found uh, at Speechcraft Toastmaster that uh, it is a evaluation that we get through them. And uh, it is a sandwich evaluation that uh, we get uh, grow, glow, grow, and glow like one <laughs> glow uh, point and then what is our grow point and then again glow point. So we get encouragement and also we get to know what are our areas that we can, we can work on. Yeah, and so it that gives you that, it, as you said, that self-confidence to keep going. Exactly. And for many Toastmasters, it becomes a lifelong thing. It, you, it is. You know, you, 10 speeches gets you what Started. used to be a CTM. Now it's CC, is Competent it a CC Communicator. Competent Communicator. Yes, yeah. But for many people, there's so much yeah. further you can go with the program. Well, I have to say that Fazia is, uh, Gazala is one of our best participants there. Oh, really? 
she listens to what's being talked about and immediately applies it to the next project that she's working on. It's just a delight to see her sort of, she had a, a great deal of innate ability already, but just to see that bolstered and flower. So it's, yeah. th that's what we get the inspiration from, the Toastmasters that are giving the course. We get almost more back than what we seem to be giving to the students. So it's just a great win-win situation. That is great. I understand uh, the current course is just is ending up this, this next Monday. This coming Monday, yes. But then you uh, start another one in the 20th of April. Yes, we do. And if people are interested in that, they should get in touch with the Working Centre. They're our partner in taking the registrations there. Very good. And then Toastmasters.org will lead people to the wonderful world, it's find a amazing. local club. Yeah. There's, uh, I think there's like six clubs around here and six in Guelph. There currently. are. There are 10,000 clubs worldwide. Incredible. With about 200,000 members. So, but it always starts on a one-to-one -one basis, and that's what we're fostering through Speechcraft. Very good. Thank you very much for coming on the show. My pleasure. All Thank right, you. all the best of luck. Thanks. All right, come on back. A little more data after this.